Remember I said we needed a pigtail so that we could hook up our electrical to the plug underneath the sink. Well, what's a pigtail anyways? This is what I'm calling a pigtail. Here's a cord here, and this one's eight foot long, and I'm only going to need maybe five feet of it or so. Now see on this end here, there's nothing on the end. There's no, there's no plug end on, on there like a regular extension cord. See here's the end here. I'm going to plug that in underneath the sink. Then I've got to fish this through underneath the dishwasher and into my metal box. I'm going to push this into the metal box and connect up my wires. So because this, this wire is really long, I can leave the excess underneath the dishwasher or I can pull it through and make it uh, decide, you know, maybe I'll cut off two or three feet of this or whatever. That's what a pigtail is because the end of it looks like a little tail, I guess. You know, so that's what I'm going to use. Now here's another, here's another option you have. You go to the hardware store and you can't find a pigtail like this. What can you do? Well, you can make your own. Now here, here's another one. This is not a pigtail. It's a regular cord. It's like a little extension cord, and it's rated for appliances and. Uh, you know, make sure at the store, the hardware store, look at your directions, make sure the amperage is enough for your dishwasher or whatever appliance you, you're hooking up. And see, I could use something like this. I could plug that in underneath the, the sink, right? And then this end here, I would cut it off. I would cut this off, and then I'd have to strip it so it makes a little pigtail like that. I could just cut that off, strip it back, and get my wires out. But here's a funny thing about that. One thing you might not know if you're going to use this type. Now, if you use this type here, when you cut this off, I'm not going to cut it off either, by the way. That's why I'm explaining this to you. If you cut this off and strip this back, you're not going to see a white wire, a green wire, and a black wire. You know, kind of like what you're going to do with this one. Okay, so. Which wire is the white wire? How do you know which wire is the white wire? You got any ideas? If I showed you this cord right here, could you tell me which wire is the white wire? Is it that first one? Or is it the end one? Or how about the middle one? The middle one, my guess, and it's a pretty good guess here, is that's going to be your ground. Okay? Well, you can't just splice, you can't just cut the end off and then hook up whatever wire to the black side, whatever wire to the white side. There's a definite way on how to do that. Do you know how to figure that out? I'm going to show you. There's two ways I can figure that out with this cord. First way I can figure out with this cord so I've got to look at it, and I'm going to make an educated guess. The ground is the middle one. The right side is this right side wire. This left side is coming straight down to the left side. So I'm pretty sure that how they hook, how they hooked that up. And when you look on the left side, I don't know if you can see it or not, this edge here is longer than this side just like a plug in the wall. Have you ever seen that, a plug in the wall? This side is always longer than this side. Go look at your plug in your wall and tell me if that's not true. Most plugs are like that, okay? Well, this is the white neutral side over here. And this is the hot black side. When I cut this off, I could remember that, okay? And I could mark that first somehow with a black piece of tape or put, put a felt tip pen over here knowing, okay, that's a black side or something. But what happens if I had that cut off? Well, if I had that cut off, could I look at this other end and kind of figure it out? I might be able to figure it out that way. The same way, okay? And that's, that'll work the same. But what if you forget to do that? 
is there any other way, if I cut that end off, and if you just looked at this wire right here, would you be able to tell which is which? I'm going to show you that right now. Here's that cord. Now I'm going to do a, a close-up on here so that you can see what I'm talking about. Now see that left edge of that cord? The left edge of that cord has some little ribs on there. Do you see them? The right side is smooth. Now the left side, whenever you see little ribs like that on little cords, like say for a lamp or uh, things of that nature, that side is the neutral white side. Did you know that? That's how you can figure that out. So let's take a quick meander here. And I wanted to figure out where that is. Okay. I think that's right about there, isn't it? Let's see. Walking back. Okay. See that? If I turn it, do you see all those little lines on there? On here? See, there's a line there, a line there, a line there, a line there. And you can feel that, you can see that's the white wire. Now if I flip it over, see this side here? It's all nicely smooth. That's kind of neat how they figure that out. They've kind of done that just in case you don't have this end on here or you hook it up another way and let's say they're just using this cord it doesn't have ends on either side or whatever then you can always remember which is which and how you're going to hook that up because the last thing you want to do is hook up your project and have a white to the black and the black to the white that's not going to be a good thing okay hopefully you just learned something there So back to our project, this cord here, I'm going to decide not to use that. This one cost more than this one because it had the end on here. Now, if this was the only one, I could have used that for a pigtail, right? But I'm not going to. I just bought that just to show you. See how special you are? Jeez. Okay, this is the one I'm going to use.